Ah, hello, everybody. Welcome to the madhouse, says he, putting his light smock on because it's red hot in here. Hope you're all all right. It's raining here now. Thundered just now. So if my internet goes, bye. Hope you've had should, a good time. Should, uh, you my internet goes. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. There's a song about that. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Right. Well, you've heard one of them. That's why I'm late today, because he, as usual, keeps me late when he comes in late. <laughs> Coughing his lungs up now, don't I? Unbelievable. That's my again. God. Good evening, everybody. Can't do anything. Anyway, I've got the lovely Joe Safin. Good evening, everybody. And I've got William. Hi, folks. And, Brian. and Brian's in, as you know. Just Brian. I'm here, too. Today. I'm don't know why I'm here, but I'm here. Today, I'm going to churn a cherry bowl. Because I found a piece of cherry which is cracked all over, and I cut it in the middle. Hang on, where's the other piece? Can't find it. Oh, over there. <laughs> I'm just going to mention this once: preparation planning prevents people from performing. Think one piece of crotch piece cherry bowl. Oh, one piece of cherry. It splits. It splits. And I'll cut it right down the middle. And the other piece. Cherry. Is there? Run to cracks. Is there? There's only one or two cracks on it. Oh, you want? So we'll see how far we get with it, and I'm fill it with super glue if I can, if I can save it, because it's a lovely looking piece of timber. Is that a worm of a on a, a, a worm screw there? Tim? That's on a worm screw, Brian. Yeah, uh, I can't get the camera over far enough to look down the yeah, back, but bad. it is on a worm screw. Hmm. And um, yeah, I'll put that other piece back a sec. Hang on, back where it was out of the way. It's, Getting in the way. Don't want to get in the way, do we? So I'll just, uh, it's been down. Well, I'll cut it down about four years ago. And, uh, and then I brought it with me. I had a cherry tree given right? to me, given to me a long time ago. Well, really, I guess it was cut down four or five years ago, actually. And <coughs> I had it given to me. The tree was four foot diameter by 60 foot tall. And it was down the bottom of a ravine. And the woman owned the farm said, you can have that. <laughs> if you want it? And it was felled in like three pieces. It was like 20 foot, 20 foot and 20 foot. And all the branches have been taken off it. Um, it was just laying in this ravine. And she said, you can have what you like. So I managed to get about 12 foot of it that diameter, you know, because I couldn't carry it any fur further up the ravine and then about half a mile to my house. So we got that piece here and I'm going to try and cut it now. So, so I'll leave you to my little friends, Josephine, I believe, is going to read out who's in the chat. Put on she that is, one, see what that was like. Yeah, oh, That it. camera got to come up a bit. That's, I've knocked that. Look. Damn. Uh, I've, you must Damn. Right, let's come up. Did you, did yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's not cam. Properties. Let's have a look here. See if I can. Right. <coughs> the, well, I'll Terry's configure the video while she's talking. Adjusting. Yeah. Adjusting. Good evening and welcome, everybody. And in the chat, we have Wayne the Woodturner, Wee Val, Rob from Clean Spoil Braces UK, Ruby Claire, Grandma Roof Tube. That's good there, Terry. Right. Malcolm Douglas, there's Barnwell, Terry Bartlett, Dr. Bob, Norman Greenwell, where's the Hannah, Paul Houghton, the Gravesbury Turner, that's a change, Mike Evans, Clint Wood dancers. That was a novel. Clint Wood dancers. That's looking good. Paul Finley will turn it home. Hey, Paul. Kevin Nanke Creations. The Valley Wood Turner and Stumpy. Take that one off. It's a bit short. C E T Wood Turner. Never seen that before, or ever. It's a changed name, isn't it? 
Trevor Huntley, Gary Glass. And we're down to the bottom at the moment. Is that all? Is that it? It is. All right. Well, so well, there are 30 not many people not, currently watching. Not many people are upset tonight, then. It's good. Well, only 30. Oh, sorry. 37, Terry. Oh, I don't mind. Charlie Taylor, that's it. Oh, Charlie. Steve. Charlie. Yeah. Stephen the Woodward is in. Hey, Stephen. Oh, Steve. This code is not very sharp, so I'm going to have to sharpen it. I thought I'd sharpen them all today. But... Right. One second, everybody. Um. Miss Stephen the Wood dude said, Good evening, Turner. And of course, Terry. <laughs> yeah, well, I know you, Stephanie. You ready you get started and do your channel. Well, uh, you'll get some trouble then. That's, that's never gonna happen. You'll get some trouble then. Oh it will. You'll get um what's named into it. Are you sharpening so, again without showing us the sharpening Tom? Yeah, because my short other cam is set to the bench for tomorrow. Oh, goodness sake. And I'm not uh, changing it back Well, oh, good evening, everybody. Well, Terry's uh, in busy in the sharpening department that we can't see. Yeah. <laughs> there, you go. Well, there we go, there we go. Good evening, hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hello, oh, Chris. Do so, you know? See how unbalanced this is? I can get eight, seven... 800. And 50. Flying. 850. 850 is fast enough. No. Find out where, the, where that little end is. Here somewhere. There it is. Why is my chat not keeping up? Right. Oh. What I'm going to do, actually, I forgot. I'm going to put my mask on. Good He's taking off the headset. It's dodgy. Good idea. It's always always good to wear a face mask when you're roughing yeah, out, back. especially with um, horrible pieces of wood with sticky out. Putting the headset yeah. back on again. Can you all hear me? Yes, yep. yes. Yeah. Right. Perfect. It's not echoing or anything silly like that. No, no, no. it's fine. No, no, you can see. hear your dulcet so, tones, unfortunately. That's um, that uh, <laughs> that mask I bought from Emma Cook. Mm. Tony Turner is brilliant. She Get she my didn't have any with her, did she? Yeah. she didn't have any with her, unfortunately, in. so I didn't right. get one. I tried hers on. It was great. Who was that, Gary Glass? Oh, uh, are you at home, Gary? Yeah. Is a question. And Tim from Tim. TFT, Tony. Oh, yeah, when I said, Joe, you were missed yesterday. Oh, and... Uh, you were, um, Joe, you missed yesterday. Blooming legs. I, I don't want to go on about it, but I was hoping that I'd have a start to get out and things like that, and it's not turned out that way just yet. Just hope that. Good mind, Gary. See you on Tuesday if you're not away. What a pain. <laughs> Kevin said after watching Doug, a mask is always a good thing to wear. So what happened sure. to Doug? Oh, hold on a minute. What happened to Doug? Doug who? I'm uh, Doug thinking Miller. it's Doug Miller. Doug Miller, right? Doug yeah. Miller, yeah. Robert Brock was just point, joined us. He, he, he was doing a ball and it's just on the last on the last hurdle it just blew apart. Oh, eh. Oh. It just gave him a little nick on the finger, but he was okay. He was fine. Oh, oh that's good, man. Good man, guys. Happened. Thank you very much. I'm, a I'm going to need it. Gary's coming along to see my demo at the woodshed on Tuesday. Good stuff. Coming to give me a bit of uh, support. Good man. Alan Gibbs has joined us. Good evening, Alan. Hi, Alan. 47 watching now, Ter. Lovely old job. Now. Welcome aboard, everybody. Hope you enjoy yourself. Yeah. This is a nice piece of cherry I've had for quite a while. It has got some cracks in it and splits, and mm. it may blow apart, but whatever. Be fun, won't it? Be good fun. So you don't get any faster at <laughs> it. Uh, Stephen, the wood dude has just said uh, cutting fresh cherry uh, bark is akin to being introduced to the cat of nine tails. Yeah, it is a bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind. 
Gonna go me. <laughs> Gary says I've the rotten tomatoes already, Brian. You're in for a good heckling. Don't you, sir, <laughs> good man, Gary. <laughs> Just what I like to see. That heckling. Ah. Sure, I'm not used to heckling. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna perform with Terry all the time. What are you talking about? You're not used to heckling, Lonnie. Yeah, I'd need to be. You're in my life every week. Somebody says he doesn't need any support, Gary. We had a few chunks coming off then. I've always hit the crack. I've never done a live demo before. See, no. Who hasn't? <laughs> we have it. Me. I'm yeah, yeah. alive in First time you did. I'm playing IRBs. Well, I'm doing one. I'm doing one on Tuesday. Hey. Seven o'clock yeah. in the weekend. Be there or be square. Let's see if that's got rid of the. It's a bit far for me, Brian, but other than that, I'd be there. I know it would be. It's in the middle of nowhere, that place. Uh, yep. Look at this. <laughs> it yeah. is kind of. Take a bit more off of that there. Evening, Ruth. Do any stories to tell about uh, Harry this evening? Sure, you can dig something up. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> you won't make it up. It doesn't even have to be true. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's the other thing, isn't it? It doesn't even have to be true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah make it up if you feel like it. But you do I'm sure you don't need to make anything up. I'm sure you've got loads of stories. No, I'd say it's I'd say it's been an entertaining few years. <laughs> oh, so. she's only had 45, 48 of them. So. Only forty eight years. Small. Yeah. Made that a bit small. Damn. Uh, that'll be um, fine. Well, the fat. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, measure that thing again. It, it went Jump in so, so easily. Look. Ruth says she's got so many she doesn't know where to start. Oh, okay. Well, you she's going to write a book. Sorry. She'd probably write a book yeah. one day. Lewis I'll just check, check to see. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Lewis. Hello, Lewis. How are you? He says, oh. Just to give it a quick test, make sure it grips it. Ah, oh, there you go. Ah, oh, you're good. No, nah, it's gone right up, right up. What's the name though? Oh, yeah. has it? Mm. Close right up. I'll just make the tenon a little bit wider. So it looked, it looked a bit wobbly there, too. Yeah, it was because it's only t- I've only got like two mil on it. Where are you? All right, okay. Two mil on there, that. <laughs> oh. Maybe three at the most. All right. Make just it seeing if it's the right size. Right. I'll make it a bit I'm bigger. Just driving. You could afford to lose another two or three, two or three mil at the bottom of that, Derek. Yeah, we can not make any difference. Bigger and safer. Bigger and safer. For sure. Until you get to be too big. I'll do it again now. You've done it again. <laughs> No, I'm just going to, it'll pinch on there. It'll hold on there. Boys, the boys is I'm in. just making it a bit Evening deeper. Roy. Hey, Roy. Roy, the boy. It's quite soft. <laughs> the wood dude says, measure <laughs> twice and then say, oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. It'll, it'll clamp up on that. If it won't, I'll put it back on and I'll turn it to the, one of the tenon sizes on my O'Donnell jaws. It's not a problem. You are. Well, Roy the boy, what have you been buying this weekend? I was just going to say, what have you been up to this week, Roy? You've been purchasing. Tell us the treasures that you've bought. <coughs> Lewis said it's a bit chilly today, and it's 11 degrees Celsius, and it's raining. Oh, that's oh not no. Serious. It's about 19 degrees here, and the rain has gone. Apparently until 11 o'clock this evening, according to my weather app. Yeah, we have to get some this evening as well. Tomorrow showers, Tuesday, wet day again. Is it? Uh, ah, looking ah, ah, rather <laughs> overcast here. Yeah. Gra- Grandma Ruth Tube is uh, suggesting you, you've always had a bad memory, Terry. It's not just an old age thing. I have. 
Who, says, who, who uh, was suggesting that? Uh, Grandma Ruth, you. Who was that? She says, uh, Terry, uh, uh, when he was 20, went to work in his car and came home to his mother, uh, and his mother asked, where's your car, Terry? Oh. Oh, yeah, I left in the car park. Come on, on the bus. I forgot it. I got, I got the bus home. It was the listen. first day, the second day I bought a new car. Oh, well, I didn't buy a new car, genius. but you knew to me, you know. Genius. Genius, I was so often catching catching the blinking bus that, you know. You just got into the habit. You must have been tired to come out of work. Your mind was just in. It was. In neutral. That's what you always did. I would have been too, excited says, right. to be driving my car. I would have been too. I certainly wouldn't have forgot where it was. He probably couldn't remember where he parked <laughs> but I forgot it. it was, so we'll I forgot it was. I forgot he even had a car. I'm starving, he says. I'll go home, get my feet, get me dinner, okay. and then come back and look for it. Gary Glass said he got a Simon Hope quick release starter set for Father's Day. Kids must love me. Very nice. Right. I'm sure they do, Gary. Yeah, of course they do. They all love you. Well, you're not here that often. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm going to fill that with CA now. I might have to get that bit off, actually, because it's a knot there. It's gone and split right across there. Yeah, I'll take that off. Damn, I wanted to keep the wings. Kev, Kev oh. says he's uh, for a good thunderstorm that was one inch in our bird bath, and it was empty. We had a couple of big downpours this morning. Ruth has added, I think Terry uh, had his mind on the woman in his life. Yeah. Laughy face. Yes. I knew that one. Long time ago. The woman the woman in his life. Uh, plural. Yeah. Women, yeah, 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 yeah. Got an E. Yeah. Time six. M E N. <laughs> Not M O N. Woman. Yeah, women. Women in his life. Well, he's been repairing more. And two trimmers. Two still hedge. I think that's hedge trimmers. Not yeah. hedge trimmers. <laughs> You seem to have missed the, 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 the G in there. What did, what did I get for Father's Day today? What did Nothing. you get? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, get on. I even had to you cook the barbecue for tea this evening. How about that? Oh, no. I had uh, plenty for Father's Day. And my granddaughter come and say hello to me. That was enough. Yeah, yeah, you see. Uh, goes over to cupboard to get... Gonna get it again. Oh, yeah. uh, this, this is turning into a nice piece of cherry. Yeah, lovely, That's lovely, lovely looking piece of cherry. Yes, gorgeous looking bit. It's just. Uh, Did you have to lose the wings, Terry? Yeah, I had to. Yeah, because the, the in fact I'm gonna have to glue it as well because it's all cracking down here, and the wing was cracked right back and into two pieces. Oh, okay. So one broke as well, didn't it? A piece broke. Yeah, down. one one flew off. <laughs> one flew <laughs> off. See if I get anything out of it. Oh, it's nearly empty. This it is, uh, I once had to search two days in Santiago car park for a car I borrowed from a friend. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's that's called not paying attention, Stephen. Yeah. Not paying attention <laughs> where you parked in the thing. I suppose if you don't know where San, you know, if you if it's your first time there, maybe. It'd be a bit, uh, you know, where do I park my car? Why the woodsheds in? Good evening, Andy. Andrew. Andrew. Hi, Andy. Uh, Tim says, I went to work in the car and came on home on the train once. The car was crashed into and written off in the car park it oh. was in. Oh, no. Yeah, that would have been a mate annoying, I would say. Was it your fault, Timmy? You weren't listening. The car was crashed into. Yeah, but he was it his fault? didn't crash into anything. Uh, that might be his way of saying I crashed my car, you know. Oh. How annoying. That's the sort of thing, you know, what? Ruth would say, somebody, uh, uh, some, she said, my, crash, my car's been crashed into. Yeah, okay. Yep. Roy the boy says his, she was uh, driving it. He had, 
he had family and friends up today and went for a nice meal in Doddington this afternoon. Doddington, yeah, I know where Doddington is, very nice. Better still, it didn't cost him anything. Oh, it's even better. Oh, right. yeah. That was a treat. Mm-hmm. A little freebie. Fact, everything Roy seems to do don't really cost him anything, is it? Yeah, well, didn't cost him much that, anyway. Have you noticed that sort of thing? We know, we, we know. Patterns really developing. Anyway. We do. No, there's a pattern to uh, Roy. Right. So uh, Tim says, nope, I was a quarter of a mile away at the time selling guitars to the masses. Right. Good man. Selling musical instrumentes. I have a oh, guitar. I'll try a minute. Good play. Help it dry I suppose it's if you want to play, a, play a guitar, you really need to practice, don't you? You do. Yeah. I, used to pr- I used to play that's, a mandolin in orchestra once. That's a... Uh, that's, uh, that was good fun. That's maybe my downfall then. I don't practice. <laughs> I mean, I used to play a guitar. Don't do it anymore. Can't remember how to do it now. Can't even read music anymore. Is nah, a bit annoying? Nah. Oh, no, I can't read I used music. used to. No. I used to read music. Hell of a racket with it. In the orchestra and do everything. And yeah, can't do a thing. Right. Just take my mask back off again because I don't need that for a minute. You could, uh, you could always be, you could always play it by ear, but. You hear it's about you try playing my ear, the strings hurt like anything. I know. It catches on your ear. It does catch it on your lobes. <laughs> Pulls the lobes off you. <laughs> oh, holy moly. Oh, great. Right, sandpaper. I know. Um, <laughs> oh. um, uh, there's always the one. The there is. The have you any accelerator, one. Terry? No. Pardon? Have you any I accelerator have. for that CH? Yeah, I've got accelerator. I just can't what? bother. No. Look for accelerator. It. This is it, is it? Who is oh. CAT Wood done again? I've forgotten. Yeah. Charlie Taylor. Charlie. 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 You're ready with that, that. Charlie said he thought you played the fiddle. Uh, I'm not the fiddler, that's Roy, Charlie. Come on. It's Roy the boy. My 60s in. Good evening, Andy. Hey, Andy. Welcome along. Oh, excuse me. Of course, I broke my. Th- I broke my scissors and I haven't replaced them yet, so I'm looking for some. Uh... I've just bought some um, bonsai trimmers from that new website, TMU. Have you got bonsai trees? I was bought a bonsai tree about five years ago from my friend who looks after the parrots. I've got one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Stick on machine. Some air getting in there. You've just got to remember to water them. Hmm. Always a good plan for plants to give them some water. Maybe, <laughs> huh? Woodley says easy with that accelerator. You don't want white bits, you know. No, just I'm not worried. Like the sun is anyway, so. Yeah, it must, it's just open to soak into the crack to stop the crack from progressing further in as I get around the other corner. Roy says he doesn't fiddle anymore. He just gets good bargains. He doesn't fiddle for what? <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> fiddle anymore. Anyone. Not anymore. <laughs> oh. Is it, oh, so it does. It says anyone right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, uh, you know what you need, Roy. <laughs> Which means that he used to fiddle. But no, he didn't. <laughs> Roy's suggesting I need glasses. I've got glasses, Roy. It's you need uh, new glasses. No, it's a <laughs> reading of the English is the problem. Ones. Well, the glasses are fine. I can see perfectly well. I just can't read very well. What do you want? Uh, what was that then? That was oh, wrong, gl- wrong paper. That was one eighty. Mm. No wonder it took a long time. <sighs> I'm going to cut some more. One twenty. Uh, there we go with the preparation again. No, <laughs> it's just a. Uh, it was you, Brian. You didn't. Oh, remember, remember? Really, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah I, my scissors yeah. broke. Yeah. I, yeah. I said to you, I said to you, my scissors broke. Broken. I said to you, don't forget, remind me to get a new pair of scissors. Ask Ruth. Yeah, right, you said. 
Ruth, could you get Terry some new scissors, please? You know, and then I've got I've, now I've got to use a Stanley knife to cut this stuff with, which is a pain in the butt. Never mind. I can't, I can't, I can't help you anymore, Terry. I sent you a laser so that you could laser cut your discs, but I have you got it set up yet? Yeah, there you go. Right, I got some cut now. All I got to do now is cut it yeah, into square. Fine, cream. Great. It's crack. Isn't crack, it? crack. I think it's crack. He means. It's a crack. C R C R A I C. Yeah. Crack. What's the crack? It's the Irish word. I mean, what's yeah. going on? Sure. What's the oh. phone? What's the what's gossip? A, it's a Irish. <laughs> it's a yeah. Irish word. A Irish how, word. Uh, what it basically means is, how are you? And what do you know? <laughs> yeah. Right. And, and Ruth is asking, do you want one brought out to you? Uh, I'll use the standing knife now, Ruth, don't worry. Uh, too late, Ruth. Okay. And do a Garofalo again. <laughs> and Ian Leach. The next time. Hi, Hi, Ian. How you go? Good evening, Hi, both, both of you. So, uh, Ruth, just remind me, next time you're out and about, the next time you're passing a shop to sell scissors, that Terry needs to go and buy a set. Because you'll never a Nice, remember. bright, pink pair. It's a doozy mare. I did say to Ruth the other day, I need any pair of scissors, and I broke them, but... Yeah, you, know. you did, I. Didn't happen. Mm -hmm. I go to the shop and don't bother, do I? Yeah, you go to the shop and you forgot what you went for. Don't start. We know what you like. Oh, that'll do. Yeah. That'll do. You leave that bit of bark on you. Yeah. Okay. Next size character, up. Doesn't it, to it? Next size, great up. Whack that on. Get on with it. You've got to leave that tail out in the foot. I'm here for fun, and I. What can I hear? It's the extractor. Ah. Come back. Uh, uh, says, uh, you said she will do because he forgets all the time. I do. My memory's bad. Getting older, mm -hmm. aren't I? Well, you're certainly not getting younger, that's for sure. Do you, you ever forget you? anything, Brian? Or Joe? Not a thing, Terry. Not a thing, Joe. Nope. No. Yeah, do you ever, William? Something. Oh, yeah. Never okay. forget anything. Brian yeah. uh, does no. forget stuff. He's just of course not he admitting forgets. to it. Of course he forgets. He's just as bad as everybody else. Never forget everybody anything. in the chat forgets as well. I just, I just try not to remember stuff. <laughs> I think oh, I've got dude. selective memory. Don't ask Michelle. Oh, there is that. Uh... Yeah, a bit like selective hearing. It's the same process. Right. Mm. Well, you actually do hear it, but you just don't pay attention. It's the same with memory. That's you the thing really that a lot of men do, so though, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. It's an acquired skill. <laughs> Brian doesn't forget, he just forgets that he forgot. <laughs> right. Yeah. What? Did I forget something? I don't believe that. I'll just cut that one, I must have done. Where's the other one? Oh, that one there. That's it. Last one. That's a good plan, Steve. Great. I'll, lift this guy. Really lift this guy. I'll forget where the list is. <laughs> And Ruth says, I'm desperately trying to forget who I'm married to. I can't hear you at the moment, everybody, because uh, the noise of this. Well. Okay. Oh, you don't need to know, you're fine. No, well. Just you, uh, <laughs> just you keep working away there. Okay. Yeah, Paul Finley is the same as me. He forgets the name of stuff all the time. Like Tailstock and Bunny. I can hear you now. And Tool Rest. Switched off, I do it all the time. I'll just move this tail <laughs> tail stop. That's stop. the banjo I've got. <laughs> yeah, the end joke. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! <laughs> One of my uh, exhaust oh. hoses has fallen out of the ceiling. Oh no! It's, temp it's a temperature that is, isn't it? Oh no! Right, I'm going. I can't. Uh, I'm going to have to set this right, people, before. <laughs> Gary, Gary has the right answer. Just call everything a doofer dangle or a thingy me bob. Thingy me jig. What's name? Jobbins. Uh, right, I've got to get this Michelle, up. What is it Michelle calls the remote control? Oh, they've both fallen out now. Dubray. Oh, Christ. 
No, down. Oh, see we call it buttons. The buttons. There's the buttons. That's mm. not good. My exhaust has fallen. Oh, the exhaust no, has fallen no, out of the ceiling. No more sanding for you, then, either. No, I don't think so. Yeah, they're they're. Oh, damn it. Don't you hurt yourself? It's okay. It's only, it's only they only extract the noise. Yeah, no, but the noise is. I mean, it's five times as bad. I've been. Mean, no. Yeah, I know. The hood you may flip. I'm going to have to leave him here now. Or the what you may call it. Then he pulled the lead out. It's just not one of the right. I'll stick him down the back there. They're red hot as well. This is hot in here, about 30 degrees in here. Leave it at that for a minute. Right, uh, where was Matt I? Matt says, uh, come on, Ruth, let's hear some more Terry stories. We already know that he's a bit silly when he drinks. We saw him at Glen. I don't drink. <laughs> I'm not a drinker, then. <sighs> The doohickey, that's another word. Wesley says, don't forget the doohickey. Routine do magic. What's the name, Jobbins? <laughs> Stephen says, lucky to he was an engineer, otherwise things wouldn't be, would fall out of the ceiling. They would. Oh, dear. Good job, Lucy that, isn't Bundy it? Lucy Rowe and James Crawford. Oh, and Fred Gilliver. Hello, James. Hi, Hello, Lucy. Lucy. James and Fred. Fred. Welcome along. Welcome along, guys. Chris. 54 watching there. 54 good people. We had a shop so, here, says Kev. It's called Thingamy Bubs. This is a bit of cherry if anybody's interested that's just joined us. Not that good. That's what Michelle calls it the doofer. Doofer. That's what the TV oh, is called. Where is the doofer? That was Ian right. Leach said that. Is that because you you hog it all the time, Brian? Uh, no, I no. Michelle has in control of the differ. I don't know what her previous run control is. I'm not allowed to hold it, so. Yeah, you're not you're not responsible enough to hold the differ. Glenn so, doesn't like holes in it, so I I look after it. You do. <laughs> You're chief right. operator. I'm the chief, chief operator. operator. The chief differ presser. I don't watch TV. Not much. Well, it's all right. I, it's like, usually... go ahead. There's things I watch like uh, Formula One and <sighs> Super Bike. Yeah, it's better. I recorded the qualifying and watched that mm. this morning. And um... it was on at half eight this morning. It's oh, Yorkshire it... Grey time. Oh no! Oh, oh yes. Good morning, guys. Uh... There's, yeah, maybe singing See? ahead. See Joe's face lit up and Glenn's <laughs> frown. There may be singing ahead. I put too much on there. Put your plugs on, boys. Oh, lash we it like watching Sorry, lash it the documentaries and what have you. We don't watch um, soaps or anything like that. No, me neither. No. It's all too boring and miserable. <laughs> Wesley Hannah says, sing it, Joe. <laughs> It's all. Do I just wait till it's spinning first. Yeah, gotta wait till it's spinning. It's all rules. doom and gloom in them out soaps anyway. So. It is, yeah. isn't ready, it? Joe. Ready, Joe. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Go. As I feel pity <laughs> can be soft <laughs> as your face. With life brown, <laughs> Yorkshire Yorks gritty. gritty. Yeah. Oh, don't, put, don't you start. I've heard loads on here. <laughs> Why, why, how do you know you've got loads of coming back off again? Yeah, it's just Oosh. decided to run around and, you know. It does that when it gets warm. Yeah, it does that, yeah. Move that out of the way. Yeah, that was see. Chrissy. Chrissy from uh, Easy Wood Tools didn't know there was no. a song. Ah, you see. How oh, that's managed to keep a secret, I don't know. Uh, well, she, she's obviously she's not paying attention. She's wise to it now, though. Yeah, she is now. She knows the lyrics, yeah. if nothing else. She is, Someone yeah. put it in the chat, didn't they? They did. did. And they wanted me to sing it, but I refused. Yeah. You never did. I did. You did. Refused. <laughs> oh, well. Turn the speed up a bit. Let's get some of this off. It needs a professional to do it, doesn't it? It does. Anyway, yeah. Dances with Hard Vax is in. Professional idiot needs to be. Oh, is that Mike? It's the one. 
Hey, Mike. And then they get right, <laughs> Didn't get the name either. <laughs> it is Mike, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I was waiting. I was letting you struggle there for a minute before I told you. I did it. Yes, you... no, I did, you did it. You got it. I knew you would get it. That's why I left you to get it. I forgot. And, and I and forgot the last the time, too. And I'll forget yeah. the next time. And the time before that. And the time yeah, it doesn't that. sing very well <laughs> somehow. I'm not. And that's before anybody put Mike in the chat. So. Mm -hmm. you, yes, you were in before the chat. You're quite right. Yes. That bit done. Oh, look at that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, that's beautiful, Terry. It is. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Take it, boo. Take it, boo. Almost looks like marble. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. Oh, better shine it up with something. Else. Oh, yeah, looking, get a bit of shine on, Terry. I was looking at the shine. shine. I thought, oh, yeah. I was looking at the shine. Of it. Terry, some, you, uh, leave that, you go leave the two marks on it. Yep, I'm just sheen. Cheeky son. Eye gloss. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave two marks in, Brian. See if you can produce anything better. Um, which one of oh, these yeah. random balls would you like me to pick up yourself anyone, and show you? Any one of five. Don't forget, I'm in charge, so I might not put you on you're, screen. You're in charge. <laughs> you're in charge. Terry's in charge of the button. Terry's in charge. And, and Ruth says, love it almost as much as you. Oh, oh no. So that I'm one's going to the bin then, Terry. Yeah, you're in the bin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of eyeglass wax. <laughs> I've run out of something to drink. Go get something then. I need have, might have to go and get something. Benjamin's in. Good evening, hey, ben. 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 Good evening, boy. Right, hold the phone, you guys, till I uh, wander off down to the kitchen. Well, I'll, I'll just. Uh, I will. I won't... Procure myself something to drink. Yeah, I won't. Uh, okay. I won't polish it until you come back, Brian. Just so as you can see what it looks like. Good man. You do that. Terry. You hang on to that. Just, I'll be back in a second. So I'm gonna let this dry anyway. On. I am. I'm just gonna let this dry first. Hang on. Yeah. Just thought I'd ask. Oh no, tragedy has just done. Me. All the doom bars gone. <coughs> Those I was eating it all. Two tens left. Drunk it all. I'll have to order some from the old Amazon. <laughs> Lewis, yeah. says, Lewis says, Nice to on, see you on. turning nice wood for a change. Sorry. Um, you're all right. You're all right. Uh, William, I'll let you read the next thing out. No, you're fine. You're fine. Thank you, uh, Lewis. I thought I'd just turn a little bit of cherry I acquired several years ago. You know, started Instead to crack even wheat. more. Started to crack even more. So I thought, well, mine is going to take a while to dry. Perhaps it won't dry, actually. It's too uh, shouldn't, shouldn't, hot in here. <coughs> shouldn't be too bad. It's really 29 in here. 30. Really? Yeah. Wow. And you should I got take your shirt off and, and just put your smock on. Shower when I finished. Be fine. Set and I dry. Replace the lid. Chuck that in there. Oh, that missed. Get a new piece of paper. <clears throat> ben Jamin had just said, looks like I missed the Yorkshire grip bit. You did, thank Ben. God. You missed the singing. You, did, mate. Ben. you absolutely he missed said, the singing. He said, thank God, I've already got a headache. We don't mind, that's ben. Not ben, that's not very nice. Joe don't mind. Uh, Joe has the voice of an angel. That's well, just me and Ben. Mm -hmm. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> we said Here we go. Minded. See what this looks like, shall we? Go on, then. Oh, Give it a yes. Bow. Give it a bull flat. That's the Yorkshire and Brian coming out. Give it bull flood. See that? That's that blind colour rubbing off on me. Go straight away. Oh, shiny. Oh, that come up nice. Nice gentle pressure on the old cloth. And just touch the cloth. Or paper towel, or whatever you want to use. Look That's at that. beautiful. It really is. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Yep, like that. Not bad. If the crack's older, Gary, they've got to finish Gary, the bottom uh, off. Gary Glass the bottom said he made a, 
Jerry Glass said he made a proper hash of putting Hampshire Sheen on the inside of a bowl while I turned today. So bad, I had to sand it back and start again. Oh no. Oh, no. And Paul of the Woodworms is in. Good evening, Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. <laughs> well, at least you remembered it was on a Woodworms crew. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's better than I do. <laughs> they put up a bit I of a fight too, didn't they? Yeah. I well, it's still on the screw. I've marked that with my fingers, so I'm just going to okay. pull it again. Oh, polish it. Yeah, polish it. Uh, the, uh, I usually end up getting the chucky in before I remember. The the back most of it common mistake anyway. folks make is not letting it dry before buffing. This is indeed true, Ruby. That's true. Right. Is that one done? Turn it over. It's, more, it's actually more important to let the uh, microfine, not the microfine, micro crystalline, crystalline, dry than it is that half your the uh, high gloss. Mm -hmm. The high gloss. The high gloss will actually shine. Really you, mm -hmm. you because you, you you know the heat of the. The heat of the towel spinning it fast makes it quite good. It does dry fairly quick anyway. But if yeah. you leave it for a month or two, take the time and leave it. It won't do any harm. Micro crystal. Walk away for half an hour and minutes. come back. Doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. Ben Gelman says he's having terrible, terrible trouble with sanding sealer and drying streaky in this heat. And it was 10 to 60, 42. Yeah. Yeah, well, that does do it sometimes. Secret, as well. the secret there is just put. <laughs> Uh, a few light coats on, don't overdo it the first yeah. coat. Yeah, another thing, um, if you're using um, the diluted stuff, use uh, aerosol can. Spray. Yeah. Spray, yeah, it'll get a, a more even coat on the piece. Mm. But just don't be tempted to put too much on. That's the biggest mm. issue I find. Yeah. People put too much on and then it doesn't dry properly. It kind of seals on the top and it's still wet underneath, if you like. Yeah. And when you start to uh, de it or something, it just goes off. Right. That's my thought, but that could be totally wrong, because I've been wrong before. That's square there now. Yeah. A lovely cut, Terry. Turn up a bit now. But Des well. Barnwell says, I quit today when the blood got everywhere, and it was only a tiny scratch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blood, blood has that nasty habit of um, looking much, much worse than it actually is. Does it mean Gabe says he's right? You can't spin the aerosol, so why do the liquor? Well, that's a personal choice these days, I think. Uh, I know that uh, Terry Chestnut Product says you shouldn't thin his. Uh, Martin Hampshire seen uh, has his pre-thinned, but if I buy uh, chestnut products, I thin it down a little bit. I do as well because I think it's too thick. Yeah, personal preference. And me, you can do uh, it's in your workshop. You can do what you like. And once you pay for the, you. once you once you've paid for the old, uh, what's the name, <laughs> Sandy Sealer, it's yours. So you do it like that. Take that. <laughs> Send it right, says. Des has said that people uh, people don't seem to want blood stained pieces. You're selling it to the wrong people. You need to be selling it to God or vampires. I don't know, your market may be quite small. Uh, does anyone know what the carrier jaws are for an SC3? Uh, and can you use. That's 
that you can use to make wooden chucks. Seen them a couple of videos, but can't find them for sale. There aren't any record power products. I don't think record power make wooden jaws, but they make soft jaws, which are a high de high density polypropylene or something. Yeah, polymer. Yeah. Um, so you can just manufacture them into whatever shape you want. So they just fix on with the same screws. I've seen the Nova ones. We've seen them in the carpentry store that day, Brian. So they will fit record power. Yeah, no, well. Nova ones will. Uh, yeah. I'm sure record power do. I'm almost sure they do. Let me just have a quick double check on that. Ruby will tell us because Ruby's, uh, Ruby's a demonstrator for record power. Record power indeed do soft jaws, uh, and they're about sixteen pound fifty. Sixteen pounds, fifteen pence. Why? Um, let me just get me a part number. There's there there one supplier there. You can buy them direct from Record Power, or you could there anybody who has a Record Power um, distributorship, you'll be able to buy them. Sixteen pounds, fifteen pence, including the VAT in the UK. And the part number is record power six two three seven eight. Raymond, why is he in? Good evening, Raymond. Hi, Raymond. Hello, Raymond. Mike said not soft jaws, metal jaws. A metal jaws? You want metal jaws? What for? Well, uh, record power do a complete set of uh, jaws. I'm getting thin now. I can hear that. But the carriers yeah. are not removable from uh, from record power jaws. You don't take the carriers out. You just screw them in. <sighs> Little Alan had his screws hold the jaws on. And they're the same uh, design as the same shape and screw hole part of pattern. As um, Robert Sorby, Nova, and Rutland, I believe, are all the same style of jaws. So you have a wild choice of what to buy. Uh, these are metal that you screw into the wood. Metal that you screw into the wood. Now, the only thing that record power, record power do as a uh, as the um, the little ring that you get that just fits on the standard sort of two inch jaws. Is that what you're talking about? A metal ring. Let me just have a look. <gasps> Didn't like that. Oops. Didn't. Oh, yeah. Sounds like I've got a crack opened up. Oh, I hope not. It's going so well. Somebody didn't like. Oh, there's a knot there in the crack. Oh, I jumped off that's the crack that? into the knot. That's right. Oh, that's not. Okay. No, that's not fun. Nasty. I can see if I can uh, clean that bit up. Sounding a bit hollow. Uh, right. Sounding a bit crackly, ollily, hollowy. So have a look at this thing. Have a look at that thing, Mike. And tell me if that's the thing you're looking at. Is that the kind of thing you're talking about? Uh, they are metal that fit into your carriers with holes to screw in. Yeah, they also make carriers older shots like Multistar. Call them carrier jaws. Nope, it's I don't crack. think they do anything like that, Mike. It is the crack. Hmm. It's there. Split there. Wood jaw, please. Oh, look at that move. <laughs> Is it, is it flexing a bit? Through. It's flexing. Yeah, like, it is a little, isn't it? Look, 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 look. Flexing more than a little. 
Ooh. Uh, I wonder if I can save that. Because it's a lovely bit of timber. More super glue. Yeah, pop a bit on the inside. Or wriggle it in. Where, where, where is the crack? Uh, there. Ooh. It goes down to there. Mm. Uh, That's such a nice piece of wood, too. It is, yeah. You see, it's Let's try and get flexing that. like that. that. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> flexing quite a bit. Gonna have to try and put some of this in there. Oh. Come on. Run out of this, I think. I'm gonna have to win a new one. I didn't want to have to open a new one now. I thought I'd just have oh. enough. No. Open a new one then. Right. Dang. Oh, the expensive. Oh. Right. Well, I don't know. It's just the time it takes me now to cut this all. Open it up. Get it down there. Okay, Terry, we can wait. You know. Take your time. It's annoying. Right, if I put that onto there and go like that. And then wriggle it. Hmm. Work it in. Without snapping it off. Oh, it's going in. Wriggle it again without gluing my fingers to it. Yes, yeah, working its way down. Way. It's down through there. It's down through there. Pour some in there. In there. Lewis is saying it's a bad week for exploding oh, hey. balls. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to explode one, Lewis. I'm trying to save it. I'm trying to save one. <laughs> I don't, uh, I mean, I feel sorry for the four boys that already blew one up, but I'm not going to try and, I'm trying not to go down the same route. If it was a rubbish piece of wood, I'd just throw it away. Sorry again. It's not it's quite nice. So it's worth having a try, isn't it? Yeah, it's good right, to save good. it if you can. That's gone. That's gone into there now. So that's all right. Hopefully that'll that'll stick. In that will stay. I'll let that dry naturally. Talk amongst yourselves. Have a game. We're doing that because uh, I'll let that dry on. I'm not going to spray yeah, that. that. I don't right, want to spray the that link part off. Is that the thing you're looking for? What's that, Brian? Yeah, Mike uh, from uh, Dancers of the Arvarks is looking for a wood jaw plate. Wood jaw, plate. wood jaw blade, wood plate. Plate. All plate. Oh, right. Sorry. <coughs> yes, plate. Wood jaw plate. Ruby's saying, put your face shield on, please, Terry. Yeah, I will do. I'm going to do this time. Well, I did actually. When I did the you, you had it earlier, almost, okay. I was there most of the time. I only took mm -hmm. it off on a sanding. Let's make that dry, isn't it? I can start all the way out the inside of that kind of thing. Quite fancy one of those fancy fish shields at Elmer's house. Or Elmer's brother's house. Oh, lovely. Actually. It's brilliant, I'll tell you. <clears throat> Although the one I've got is pretty good, but I need another one. Yeah, it set goes over the top and it comes down, and my microphone's now in where it should be by my chin. Mm. Uh, Mike's found the Nova ones. As you can see. No milk microphone. Hey. No a microphone. Very good. Yep. Works a treat. So it is uh, what it is. Ah, see, Mike's found them. He says he's found the Nova ones, uh, which, which he needs to make a pipe tunneling chuck. Okay. So Mike's going to be tunneling pipes. Very good. Look forward to seeing that, mate. Well, you're making pipes, is it good? Hmm. Is it going African black word, Mike, or what?
Briar, he says. That super glue's run out of there, look, when I spun it. Sorry. <laughs> Pardon? Mike Briar. Says Br Briar. All right, okay. Yeah, you must spray the activator as a terrier. It'll be all over the place. Yeah, it's too blinking on here. Too hot. Right. No, it's not hitting. Nope. I don't see what I'm doing now. That's your right. Let's have a look. Don't know whether I'm risking another cut down there. I might just sound it. I'm worried whether it's going to fly apart. Okay. Hey, Tom was being helpful, Terry. He says, turn the speed up, Terry. Yeah, okay, Ben. 2,800. Just in case it might not explode. Do I risk it? No, I think too it's dangerous. Do you need to risk it? No, no too dangerous. Huh? Don't. It's got a. It's a big crack. <laughs> it? Although it's no. holding by the super glue, I don't know that it will. You know. Does it? What, what more do you need to do? Nothing. No, just sand it then. Yeah, got it. Don't put too much heat in it. No. Sand it gently. Slow speed sounding. Yep. I'll have a load in here now with those pipes. Oh. That's not too bad. We can't. We still can't hear it. Yet. Not for Jabra you, didn't. Well. <laughs> yeah, no. Your job was doing a good job. It's It's working anyway, the dust is flying down the pipe. Yep. And Lewis says, be gentle sanding. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> and Mike, Mike says, drum roll. Yeah, wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> Can I change the uh, pad, sanding pad to a smaller one? That's too big. And Robert Brockwood says, will you risk it for a biscuit? Nope, but I would do it nope. for a chew it. No, nope, that's fine there, Robert. No problem. Uh, Shell told me that years ago. <laughs> nice soft sanding pad on there. We did say the, the only thing that's up that's more up for it, but up for the crack than me, is CA glue. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Very good, man. Very good. Mm. It's quicker this way, Charlie, if I don't sound by hand. Yep. It's quite Your day. You, even with a power stand, you don't have to introduce a lot of heat. Just mm. go easy. Slow speed, don't press too hard. It's not good for sandpaper anyway. Too much heat just kills your sandpaper. <laughs> and in this case, the bowl as well. And melts your arbor. <laughs> it does. 
It's a huge mistake to press too hard. That little extractor is brilliant. Yeah. Have you have you got both motors running at once, Terry? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Me too. Hey. I do as well. Yeah, I do. Just make sure it just goes woof down. Two two thousand watts of power. Oof. It certainly takes it down. Mm hmm. All right. If you're running it through a cyclone, it never gets it never gets clogged up. I am got a cyclone, I'm afraid. Of. Yeah, one of those things. That's good advice, Lewis. Uh, Lewis says best not to hand sand when there's a chance it could come apart. That's true. Well, yeah, there is that for sure. Your hands are not in the way; they're on the end of a drill. That's another reason I didn't hand sand it. But if it's a more enclosed form as well, it would be even more dangerous. Right, the boy's uh, watching in the kitchen now. He's doing cheese on toast. Right, good old Roy. I've just, I've just had a big, uh, a big barbecue before I came on. So cheese and toast, however tempting, uh, would just be too much right at this minute, eh? But give it an hour, I might be tempted. <laughs> yes, uh, Kev, it is the twin. Uh, it is, yeah, the twin motor, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Bob says, beside being a comedian, what other hobbies do you, do you have that you can share with your loyal viewers? <laughs> Me? Oh, um... <sighs> Qualified radio ham? It's a ham. Yeah. I've been... Got the 42 words a minute Morse code, if anybody's interested. Was a world champion at 80 meter band back in the 1990s. On the National Field Day around the world. Um, that's just one of the things. Amateur Dramatics is another one of his. Uh, used to be. Not so much now. <laughs> I can't hear you out of all this noise. Terry, Terry, Terry and Ruth used to do uh, uh, Amateur Dramatics. Not yeah, we've been in hundreds of pandemimes and plays. Raised thousands for the hospitals when we were younger. And you we enjoyed well. it. It yep. was great and you, fun. You paint as well? Yeah, painting oil uh, paints. Well, paint all, paint all mediums, but I prefer oil paints. Man of many talents. Yeah. Kevin K9 says, Roy, that meal you had at Durrington's couldn't have been too filling. Glad you didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yep, there is indeed. Uh, Mike says there's a radio ham stream where all they do is chat in Morse code. That's true. I learned Morse code when I was in the military. Was, uh, didn't get anywhere near 16 words a minute, it was about my speed. That was fine. Oh, my roof tube says turtle numbskull. That's another. <laughs> Turn that off. <laughs> Check that off. Pro <laughs> professional work avoider. Another. Uh, right, I can hear you now. What were you saying? Okay. Anything? Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing, okay. nothing. 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 Right. Fine, Actually, I've got to yeah. sound that bit there. That where that crack was because there's some leak down there on the outside. But that's all right. I can just. Yeah, if cheese and toast is, is disappointing, Ben, it's through lack of imagination because you can do anything with Oh, I just fancy cheese on toast now. Yeah, it's all right. Like cheese on toast. Just sand that glue off it. 400, 400 grit. Right. Right, right, the boy says Terry's done sit down comedy, uh, sit down comedy. Oh no, sorry, he, he means stand up. Yeah, yeah he says up. avoider of buying lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, that's true. That's true, Lucy. What's up now? Was she moaning about? Oh, yeah, he was a photographer as well. I forgot about that. 17 years of photographer. And I took thousands of weddings and, well, not thousands, but hundreds and hundreds of weddings and kids and school and all the rest of it. And I've had uh, several things people wanted me to take. And I obliged. Have you fallen out of love with photography? With what? Photography. No, 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 no. I've got all the gear. I mean, I've got even better gear now. I used to do this back in the 70s and 80s. Oh, right. um, a long while ago. Well, I used to work for the AA as a patrol. I did an engineering apprenticeship for five years, which included uh, engine fitting, fitting, turning, metal turning, bore machines, all the rest of it. Did all that for about, <laughs> well, did that until I left the dockyard in, I think it was 1973. I can't remember now. And... Uh, I left there and was going to be a policeman. And I went in for the, you know, I got past all the tests and all the rest of it. I went in for the medical and I could hardly see, but, you know, I thought, I never know, I'm going to get through. I really wanted to be a policeman. And uh, I went in. And the old doctor said to me, I'm afraid your eyesight's not good enough, he said. I'll let that dry say. He said, I'm afraid your eyesight's not good enough. He said, um, but you've been here a long day, he said, doing all these exams and things. He said, come back tomorrow, he said. Give your eyes a rest and we'll see if we can get down to the little line, you know, that you've got to get down to the line that was necessary in those days, not necessary now. So I went back the next morning and uh, I passed the test quite easily. I couldn't see on the way in because I had my glasses on and underneath I had a set of contact lenses. But I, pat, I took the glasses off and I could see the smallest line you can think of, but I didn't tell him that. And then after I'd said, he said, yes, you passed, great. I said, all right, I'm off into the, uh, I need, I'll need to go to the toilet, is that all right? And I was going to go in there and put my lenses out and put my glasses back on. He said, oh, just before you go, he said, I need to look in your ears and look in your eyeballs. Hmm. <laughs> well, I need. Check their pockets. <laughs> yeah, and he, he said, he said, oh, thank, oh, thank you. take your lenses out. He said, oh, he said, I can't let you go past that. He said, I can't let you pass. So he didn't let me pass. So that temporary job I took with being an AA man lasted yeah, 31 years. Yeah. We used to work, you know, shift work, four on, four off, and things like that. So I'd have a, have a half a week off. So I'll be I'll carried on my photography career as well at the same time. And then and Ruth, Ruth says not forgetting fly fisherman. Oh yeah, fly fisherman. Oh fly yeah, fisherman. yeah. I forgot about that. Since, since I was five, fished every single river. I think almost every single river in England, and there were quite a few in Scotland. A good number. Quite a few Scotland. in the rest of the world as well. Yeah. Over me time. That's not looking bad there now, actually. Quite like that. It's looking all right. right. I wouldn't say uh, I've gone a bit thin, up, but I've gone through oh, the oh. bark. Gone through the bark. That's on the other side. Gra <laughs> Grandma Ruth, you was just said, uh, and, and your 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 most favourite hobby of all time is very part time husband. Oh yeah, that was good. <laughs> it was good. But she was so busy, she didn't want me around, so I had to go do something. <laughs> it's only so I could bring, so she could uh, have the money for the kids. More jobs I've done. Stephen said, is it me with the bad eyes or is there a wobble going on there? there I'm not wobbling, Stephen. It could, it could be more <laughs> of a flexing than a wobbling. I'm not wobbling, Stephen. Is it you? <laughs> nice bit of Maybe a wobble. Of hey? I'm liking the figure on the bottom of it. Oh, it's nice. Mm. It's nice. nice. Lovely piece of wood, isn't it's it? It's nice. It's gorgeous. Whether they're all together or not. That will. Oh, actually, be oh. gentle with it. Yeah, well, no. Jimmy, like that. Right. Let that dry. Right. Uh, another hobby he had was magistrate. Oh, one well, hobby is a career. That was a career choice. Only 27 years. 
family court judge for 285 of those seven years. But, you know, I had to give it up. Reach 70. Yeah. That's what they And then... Scrap, scrap people after that, Terry. The Lord Chancellor changed the rules six months after I left, after I, reta after I reached 70. Changed the rules and brought everything back to uh, 75 to match the circuit judges. So, uh, there you go, Joe. So, um, it was, uh, I had to, you know, so, so then they rung me up and said, can you come back? And I said, I'd love to, but I'm currently moving to Lincolnshire. Uh oh. So Give me that warning. I moved up here. <laughs> and uh, when I got here, I thought, they said, oh, you can join, you can go on Lincolnshire bench. I said, you know what? I want some time for me now. You You're good, right? So that was that. Uh, had some time for me. Wesley Hannah has got 21 years in law enforcement. I think it means my LE. Yeah, well, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't be a policeman, so I thought the next best thing is send the buggers to jail. It worked. <laughs> uh, Robo says, "Can anyone sing, Joe? Sing, Joe, sing." sing. Yeah. Can anyone and see crab legs in that boat? Can be soft <laughs> as your face. Yeah. Like, like brown. Yorkshire, Yorkshire gritty. gritty. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, I'm getting a chorus now. What is like? <laughs> Mental. Man, there's a box of crabs. Can anyone see, see crab legs? I can't see them when they're spinning, mm -hmm. but when it stops, we might have a little Give look and see. Give me the bottom of that bowl. Yeah, we'll have a look in a minute. Rubber. I think that's what he means. I'm making sure this works. I'm going to do it a full three, two or three minutes or whatever it's supposed to be. Three minutes. Five. Yeah. Four to five minutes, usually. Yeah, well, I'm not going to be that long, but... As soon as well, you, have to allow the, you have to allow the rotten stone to break down into smaller and smaller particles. Three minutes. Which is what if brings it up to the thousand grit. Of wood left. Ben Jamin's got 22 years in watching episodes <laughs> of The Bill. <laughs> well done, Ben. So pretty much an experienced officer myself. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's <laughs> classic. <laughs> yeah. I, I know guys who, who watched four or five episodes of Soldier, Soldier and thought they were soldiers. Mm. Yeah, there is that, Brian. Mm. I've had several people quote doctor. me family law, and I say, yeah, okay, yeah, you you have it, you got it right, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Just uh, let them think they know better. Yeah. Grammar of this tube says, I bet you don't uh, remember Dixon of Oak Green. Even all. Even all. Even all. I remember, I remember it like it was yesterday. Well, for you, Brian, it probably was. You'd be quiet. <laughs> You've still got an old video recorder. <laughs> nope. A heartbeat. Yeah. Heartbeat. Only, good thing, only good thing about heartbeat was the music. Dr. Bob says, question please. When are yes, you Bob. going, or when are you, what, what's this? When are you doing, what? Go when in, are you, you when are you going, going to, to, join? to join Ruby and be a global traveler, lecturing and demonstrator? Oh, I don't know whether I got any. Well, I suppose I could do it, but it's, uh, that'll be another ten years. I won't see the wife. Yeah, it's, well, you could take you could Unless, take a. Well, she could come with me, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, she could actually. It'd be nice. Yeah. Is anybody? We, is is it, 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 hey, Brent. Evening, Brent. Hey, people got to ask you. Uh, I I has Bob, a question. You will have to has ask any, you to do that. Yeah. Has, no, has, I, out, has I? Uh, has anybody in our chat? Anybody who's coming into this chat? Going on the uh, wood turning cruise. Or I was thinking about it. Just too expensive for everyone. I was thinking about it, actually. But... No, I don't <laughs> think I will. Roy the boy no. said he watched Soldier Soldier and thought he could sing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit like watching Britain's Got Talent and think you have talent. Mm. Yeah. Even the people on there don't have. <laughs> Ruby Claire says, I'd love to have your company, Terry. Yep. 
It would be good, Rube. You could do the turn and I could do the chan. Oh, God. Well, you won't have a problem with that, will you? No. No, no. Um, can I just back up a little bit? What's this uh, wood turning cruise you're talking about? Um, wood turning cruise is a thing. It's a wood turning cruise. You go on a cruise, and that I mean, non wood turners can go as well. And you would turn and go to seminars and help, and you know, and all the rest of it. And you get involved with everything and meet the professionals and turn with them and learn things and get yeah. off at stops. And the non person could get off every day to different places, and it's normally around Norway, I think. Or it is right, up around the fjords yeah. and stuff. Around the fjords and that, you know? Okay, and mm. what sort of price are we talking about? About six oh, and a half grand. Oh, yeah, six and a half grand each. Yikes. Mm -hmm. okay. For a week. For a week. <laughs> Grandma Root says, please go, give me a break. <laughs> oh, my gosh, she's a bitch. She's a bitch. <laughs> I've read it brief, but I think it's finished now. It's it's, all, it's moving. It's moving. It's, it, well, it's not. It's not I think it starts on Monday. No, I think that. Um, oh, they're all on board now. Gone, aren't they? Yeah, the, uh, the likes of Nick Agar and people like that were just. Nick Agar flew out this morning from London to right, Norway. Okay. Yeah. So they're just kind of getting into the the boat this weekend. I think it's, it's, it's just closed now. You know, it's done now. So. No, you can't get on it now. It's too late. I just wondered if anybody, was anybody going. Not finished. Well, they wouldn't be here, would they? I suppose. They were, they'd be getting on the cruise boat. <laughs> ben Chalman says, it's just like a normal cruise, but with more sanding sealer. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> hmm. Too many people for Wesley Hanna. He says, yeah, me that's, also. That, that, that's my opinion of uh, cruises as well. Too many people and uh, and too small a space. I know where to hide from them. Not, not, not my thing at all. I like to go and sit out in the field when there's maybe two people and nothing for as far as I can see. That's my idea of having. That'd be the odd horse. Would be nice. Is that? Or, or even a lot of horses would be nice. That looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. uh, it's lovely. Right, where's these crab legs? Come on. No, no, where's these crab legs? Right. I don't turn it up the other way. We'll keep turning there it slowly. There you go. Two, two big claws either side. Yeah, I think I see it. And Andy says, also, you can't get away from the wife that will listen through. But you could also, all, always send her out on the day excursions, Andy. Right, that's so that she said, A floating breeding ground for every bacteria under the sun. Well, there's, <laughs> there's also that. that, yeah. It's a bit like schools, you know. You have to have a good constitution to work in a school. Germ factory. That looks good, oh, Terry. That looks rather nice, Terry. I have to say it does. For a, for an old bit of cracked cherry. Horrible bit of cherry, wasn't it? Turned by an old crack pot. Yeah. I don't mind drumming. Say so what you think, Brian. I just did. Tell me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to risk a vacuum chuck on it. Blow the bits. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pressure plate. Pressure plate. Oh. Button jaws. Nice, nice finish, Lewis said. Yeah, you got Lewis. big button jaws? No, you I got big button jaws. Yeah, you've got, you've got the hoodie you called my Longworth chuck. That's the one. Oh, I like this. I like one of these. I would like one of these too, but I don't know if I could justify it. So, really, know if I really, really need it. Need a longer to <laughs> Do I really, really need that? Yeah. I don't really. I don't really need it, but I'm going to have them. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what happens when you get the William Kenny? You know, you know what happens, don't you? Uh, oh, look at that. It becomes a must have. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Like it's only a wee tiny bowl. I thought it was bigger than that. 
Yeah. This is 20 inches, this diameter of this thing. Yeah, I know. Is there a maximum speed on that thing, Terry? Is it probably about yeah, like 600 or 800? Yeah. I think it's at 600. I'm not quite sure. Brent says only £12.99. It wasn't. It was a lot more than that. Uh, no, it wasn't because you got a cheap deal at your club. <laughs> Ah, don't you be straight to do it, Drew. He got it for, he got it for almost ah. nothing. Yeah. You stole it. Well, you I didn't. I price. didn't say the price. Oh. The person, uh, the uh, the club said the price. Not doing me. You stole it from an unsuspecting person. That's what happened there. Yeah. It wasn't a person. It was the club. I know. I had it going back in there, and I said, "What is that?" I said, "Can't pay that. Can't afford that." I'll go and think of that. You sure? Yeah. See, I did say you sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you did die. I said, yeah. yeah can't, I can't afford it. <laughs> right, no, it's it's right. Right. And I'm a pensioner, I said. I'm a bloody old pensioner, you know. What do you expect? Uh, Paul Question. Finley just said, hi, Brian, will you be free to earworm tomorrow? I think I may be, Paul. Yep, I can be available from one to half two. But after what you were telling me about Paul, Right. You be quiet. Actually, going to hear worm from him. Oh, stop stirring. Stop. Yeah. Stop trying to agitate the manure, Terry. <laughs> With said big stick. Said big stick. Yeah. Just send me a link, Paul. I'll be there, mate. You know the rules, Paul. He'll be there. This thing could actually go bang just tightening knees up. Oh. Well. Dropped the spanner. They seem very floppy. Do you have to unscrew them every time? Well, you got to unscrew them at the back to let the to, because to they, them. They, 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 they them swell out, look. they swell out, you know, they swell out and grip. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see how they work. Oh, I knew that guy, okay. I've not noticed that. I think you had to unscrew them as far as that, though. No, they were just all unscrewed, you know. Oh, I see, okay, because I, I mean, to say you've not used it, I'm not convinced well, I've, this is any faster. I've used it, but it's uh, not any faster. No, it's not fast. I don't want it. Don't want it the, only difference, the only difference is you don't have to move the things. I don't want this they thing just, to. You just kind of slide in. I don't. Right? Think, I don't want this thing to blow up on me. And so you know, if I put on a vacuum truck and or crack because the vacuum would pull the, right, you know, a the cracks may not let it. So that'd be that. Right, I think we're done. Give it a try, eh? Soon find you know, out. Yeah, if you've got a crack, you can just put a bit of insulating, a bit of masking tape over both sides of it, and it won't. It yeah, won't suck the air. They bother. Look at that. Look. I know this from not experience. Oh, we all know. Oh, Sam under revs up. Perfect. Oh, that's it. Oh, just too far. Oh, <coughs> right. You gotta love it when it goes the other way. When it looks like it's running in reverse. Yes, yeah, something to do with. I can't remember what it is now. Mm. That's it. Lucy says she's going out for lunch tomorrow. Going no out for lunch? Children, with no children. So she'll, oh, manage well done, her, she'll manage to eat all her own food, she says. <laughs> she says she managed to eat all her own kids. <laughs> instead, <laughs> instead, of, instead of sharing it with Sharing it with everybody else, yeah. I hate to tell you this. My kids never share my food. Just, there's yours. Eat it. Uh, Ian Lee says, what's this magical piece of kit called? It's called a Longworth Chuck. I want to turn it up quicker though. Okay, go. It's like watching Joe Nineties Wheels, says Des. <laughs> and Dr. Bob says it's hypnotizing. It is. I'm not even watching it. My head's bad enough without putting that in it. Uh, Kez has a, had a, a darling daughter. Kez, the darling daughter, has a habit of uh, pinching mummy's food. Yeah, he's smacking her knuckles. She'll not do it twice. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Whack. <laughs> Clip her around the ear. I do. Whack. Spoon on the back of the knuckles. She'll not I think know. twice about lifting your food. <laughs> All my kids done it as well. I don't know, maybe that day. It's just a thing. 
It's just a thing. Kevin, in case, and I, and I use the CNC to make a long more chart. There you go. Fair enough. It's only two discs, is it not? It's two discs. Hmm. With slots and counter counter rotating slots. Yeah, and you've got to have obviously some way of allowing the two discs Flo to float freely between each other. Float freely between with a spacer between, but <laughs> very thin spacer. And yeah. you've got to have some way of gripping it to the chuck. Of course it does, Lucy. This Only has got always jewel. tastes better, apparently. A C jewel connection on it. So. Leslie Anna says, them. Dad's get away with that, but Mum's a far too soft hearted. I yeah, agree. For sure. I agree, Leslie. Perfect. Personified. Happy with that. Do -do 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 -do. Right. Not, not that, of course, that I'm advocating being violent to a child, of course. No, it's just clipping her in the air. <laughs> yeah, just, just whacked her knuckles with his bone. Just... Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Hard enough so you don't have to do it twice. Oh, God. You won't get, you might get caught the second time. You may get caught the second time. I had a driving instructor did that. And, and the military, that, that every vehicle has a thing called a work ticket. And it comes in a little, can well, it used to it come in a oh, canvas case with oh, a wooden board in it that you could write on. And every time you, you left your hand on the gear stick, you'd be wacky with the work ticket. That's it. I tell you what, you didn't keep your hand on the uh, gear stick too, long, too often. Did you? No. <laughs> Once or twice is enough. You whack my knuckles and knock them out. Yeah, straight out the door. Bang. <laughs> A piece of sand and paper on there. Take a boo. Take a deep boo. Douglas Mungan is going to. Oh, no, no there it is. Douglas. Where have you been? 64 people watching, Terry. Hey, up. Hey, up. Oh, no, she's she, 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 Cup of tea, cup of tea, look. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. See, that's the wife that hates me. Look, brilliant, eh? Lovely job. Camera. Is she good to me? Is she good to me? Camera, Terry. Wrong camera, Terry. Isn't she good to me? Well, you're not going to see rubbish. You have it made, Terry. You have it made. Yeah, uh, said, I'm a driving instructor. I have a 12 inch ruler for the same reason. There you are. <laughs> Do we have it these ruler. days? <laughs> Lewis says, Lucy, my 29 year old steals food now, but from the fridge and the cuppers. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's when your kids come round to visit and they just yeah. they say, Hello, Dad. Go home shopping bag. And then you look at them, and they just the first thing you do is go for the fridge. <laughs> and you run out of some of them. You know? Yeah, it's, it's bad when they go home with the shopping bag full. <laughs> then you realise actually that the wife went and bought it from. <laughs> Lucy says, I don't know where Kaza puts it all. She eats a humongous amount. Oh, well. Mm. How's your mother get on with that, then? They like it, or what? Ben Jammer says, bad, Ruth, Lucy, only yeah. wanted, Ruth just wanted to get on Teletube. <laughs> no. <laughs> she, she actually doesn't like being on the Teletube at She all, don't like though. being on here, actually. Yeah, she, 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 said, she said not to switch it on, but not to switch the camera, but I'm a, I'm a you know. Yeah, I was always just going to come in her brown yeah, pants because yeah. it is soft, and then I would definitely switch it on and then give you all a... Then I'll get more ratings, then, won't I? You just try to boost your, your fingers again, Terry. <laughs> well, boost I don't know about ratings. Yeah. Boost me, boost me numbers. Here. Oh, yeah, it might be worth it. But, you know, another 3,000 subscribers in one night. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> oh, oh I'm talking about subscribers, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. William. I see your William. numbers just went zoomed on past mine. Well, so it should. Has it? I'm yeah, it has it. Like Absolutely brilliant, Carol. Yeah, well, he's good. That's why Brian. He is, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Him that. I've told him that. Ian, lots the wood and is often. cherry, not you. Yes, cherry, Ian. That's you, no. Uh, you can get some nice cherry. Nice cherry wood. I got lots of this as well. Well, not lots. I got about eight, 
had eight foot length and eight inch diameter. So I'm still cutting it up. And the trouble is it cracks. If you cut it and you crack it and lose another bit, and then you lose another bit. Then you... Right, I've got to let that dry a minute. So I'll just uh, bust into this roll and have a bite of that while I have a slurp of tea. Slurp of tea. And you can all you see. You milking your teeth, Here comes the ravine. Mm. Very low. Very low, low, low. Mm. Very low. Mm. <laughs> oh, Charlie says, very nice, Terry. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good morning. See you tomorrow night, Charlie. Yeah. Thank you very much see for coming in. Bye, Cheers, Charlie. Charlie. Hope you enjoy the demonstration tomorrow. Have you sent that rain to us, Brian? Nope. Oh my, have just gone by here? Right. Yeah, it's, it's, coming, it. it's coming all the way up through England itself. It's not coming from Iowa this time. It's actually coming from the south. That's dry. What do I need to do now? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. You know what you mean? Oh. I've just well done everything else. So I just as well do the bottom, <laughs> and I. Yes. Just as well do the bottom. You should. The insistence of the four. Yep, just had a downpour, right? Sorry, Ryan. It's getting kind of dark here, too. We might be in for a bit of rain here shortly. Sing, Joe. Sing. Sometimes I feel pity can be soft as your face. With light brown, sugary tea. There, see? Easy. Sugary. Douglas says we just had a splash here. Oh, right. And you, yeah. the plants could do with it. Good. Absolutely. And the fields. My grass yeah. has stopped growing, but it's started again. Same as. It's good, good. You're cooking nice it every two days now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of heat in the ground and some water, and it goes mad. Wipe that off. Leslie Hannah says, Joe's singing times three. Superb live. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And on the, on the other hand of the coin, Douglas Mangum says, oh. my ears are bleeding again. Okay. So you want to come in, I'll Douglas? You first. know the rules. I'll take the first You know one. the rules, Douglas. If you come in and Joe's in, they could be singing. They will be singing. I'll put that as a they warning. be singing. <laughs> put that as a warning notice on the old uh, thing of me, you know. Lucy says she's going to have to water the plants a bit, in a bit. Why? Yeah. You got no water there. She's you got no rain. Any rain. She's not getting the rain. It's very. Yeah, you got loads of rain. There could be in a greenhouse, maybe. Well, we had torrential rain this morning, and the water was galloping down the uh, the lane outside my house, big river of it, and now it's bone dry outside again. Right. Des Barman says, "My car is filthy. It needs to rain." <laughs> yeah. Man, oh, are you tight, so and so? We went in one of those automatic you know, car washes. Get, you eh? could always wash it, you know. You just, you just see a bucket and a sponge. We drove in one of those automatic car washes, you know. You press the button and the, the brushes come towards you. Had a wash and a scrub and a, all the rest of it. That was good. Right, new piece of paper, a bit more amps machine. Not glass wax. Da 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 da. Yeah, Kev says the problem with downpour is it runs off and doesn't soak in. Well, luckily That's enough, it. we had yesterday, we had a, an almost a full day of gentle rain. I see. It. That's what you need. I call soft, soft rain. It just comes down nice and soft and soaks in. And it had a couple of big downpours this morning. So we're not so bad. Bit. Let that dry. And it was warm. The rain this morning was warm. Yeah. Right. Sorry, that'll do. Crack. says, I never use one of those car washes. He has a phobia of getting stuck. <laughs> right. You could go that to can't a hand happen. Wash. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of them um, car washes now. It's just yeah, right. up, uh, like 20 Lithuanians descend, descend on your car. Well, there's those as well, yeah. <laughs> now, this is supposed to be this is supposed to be polished at high speed. It's supposed to be what? I it's not do supposed it. To be. it doesn't have to be polished at high speed. 600 reds will do it. That's a thousand. Try that. 
Well, be in your own head. 600 would have done it, Terry. I'm pushing towards it, man. Like I that. know. But... Those minds are fingers. Oh, yeah. Not pushing that like on, that on, the little, on the little bubbles. Yeah, no, it's fine. I got the paper in front of me. I can hear it going brrr, when I get close. Are those True. bubbles made of rubber? Yeah. You remember doing you remember with metal screws, Joe, right through them. <laughs> with metal you, screws you, right through them, Joe. Do you, do you remember doing that on your bike when you were young? Yeah, was it peg? A, cl- a, a clothes peg and a, and a playing car Carver. in the spokes. There you go. You use cardboard. Make it sound like Beautiful. you had an engine. Is that, eh? Like that. Slow. Like that. No soft frame. Move that cover too over there, I think. <laughs> Move the weight. Uh, Grandma Rutu says, uh, Lucy, we used to live in Plymouth, which is one of the most rained on cities in the world. It just continues to rain day we and day, summer and winter. I'm you used want to, to come rain. and live on island. Used to the rain. We get it off the Atlantic. At least you guys were getting it coming up from the Bay of Biscay when it was warm. Yeah, but terrible. Yours comes off the North Atlantic. You know where the Titanic sunk? No, it don't. It comes off the Irish Sea half the time. It does. Well, but if it's coming off the Irish Sea to get to you, it comes across the Atlantic to get to me first. Comes up the yeah. Irish Sea and gets goes in your way. No, it doesn't. Yes, no, it, does. it comes, it comes no, across it the Atlantic. Our weather comes across, across southern the Ireland and up across why the Stop whinging, Brian. UK. Stop whinging. Why do you think the west coast of Ireland is so jaggy? It's, it's been washed away by the Atlantic Ocean. It's a buffer, buffer, buffer zone for the UK. Yes. Yeah. Nearly there. Oh, we get horrible, horrible, horrible rain here. Miserable, and it is. Miserable. Yeah. That's why they call it the Emerald Isle. Green. It's yeah, full of rain. Get, you don't get 40 shades of green when it's dry. <laughs> no. For sure. You get a funny shade of yellow. Without losing the ball. Uh, Ruby so, Flair says, "Why are you? Why are you uh, undoing them screws? I don't need not? to do it when I open mine." Well, that keeps it t- t- tight, Ruby. <laughs> you got to tighten up the bolts. Uh, these. Got to tighten up the bolts to pull it in tight, so that you clamp it so it doesn't open when you when you turn it on. Mm-hmm. And so, so well, that's a cheapskate version, then, is it? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's obvious, isn't it? it you, you tighten these up so the rubber squeeze up to hold the bowl. Oh, Douglas Mung says, My message was this. Sorry, Douglas, I missed something. Douglas Mung says, I'll get servants to do mine, can't have them uh, losing about eight hours pay, 14 hours work. That's how they should be. Quite right. I agree. There we are. Pay them half what they're worth. So now, if you Ben Sharma says, <laughs> I think the faff factor is strong with these long work jugs. I agree. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Good. It looks like it looks like an impressive idea to begin with, but um, that's good. It does work a treat because I didn't have to uh, put it in a vacuum truck, which I could have done. There we are. Kevin yeah, 9K is asking Ruby, is yours on a chuck? That tightens with a chuck key. Hmm. There. Mine just fits in the sea jaws, that. Oh, I see. Huh? Like my woodworm screw does. I see. Hmm. Hmm. Surely you don't have to loosen them. Uh, I thought it tightened with a chuck key as well. You got to loosen them to get the. Ah, to get, to get, the, the, to get the two plates to slide over each other. But you don't have to loosen it too far; just enough to. No, you have to loosen. The... You have to loosen them to get the actual the bowl in. You know, in and out. Yeah, well, can't got that. 
I thought, you, it, I thought it was a, a one. It's know, not the cold draws like you got, um, Ruby, where you tighten the chuck key and they go no, in Ruby and out. No, Ruby hasn't got Whatever. that one either. Well, somebody was saying about him. That was this is a long that. worth chuck. It's not cold jaws. It's an actual chuck that sits on there and closes up and goes in and loads 19 inches. Right. Sits down on seat. Have a cup of tea. <sighs> Clicks one button over here. Um, Douglas is asking, Terry, can they be used on centre rings for segmented bulwark? Uh, yes, I believe they oh, probably suppose, could be. Uh, I suppose they could. Huh? See, why not? It's glued properly. Yeah, the, yeah, there's enough uh, buttons on them that if the, the rings are, you know, all glued up, why couldn't they? One bowl. Very nice. Who says yes? Longworth and Cold Jaws are different. Ben Jamin says, what's in the box? What box? Okay. What's in the box? Cold Jaws. Longworth Jaws. Oh. Along with it's a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a pizza, Ben. No. No, Ben. Yeah, Ben. That's what's in the box. That's in the box. That's how often he uses them. He just keeps them in the box. Well, I, didn't, I only bought them recently. I've not had long. Are you? Are you, uh, are you going to be sending them to Glen anytime soon? So these oh, rooms. <laughs> send, send them to Glen. What for? No, they're in a box. He keeps them in a box. Just, I only just bought them not long ago. So, I thought I'd try them. <laughs> Lewis has just said that bowl has the same radius as Terry's head. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You mean not very big, Lewis? Not very big. Not like some people I know. Huge heads. Ooh. Put that back in cupboard. <laughs> Give it nine cases, Terry. That cub does make thou look a little hobbitish. The what does? Your cup. Because it's so big. It's a massive cup. Right? <laughs> it should have two handles no, on no. it. It's, it's just that you're a small person. That's a normal sized cup. Don't be starting no. that nonsense. I agree. Like how thin I am, look. That's you, just two cups, two, three cups wide, look. Uh, six cups wide. I'm uh. just a thin person. Yeah, <laughs> cup is a gallon bucket. <laughs> Your estimation skills are not as good as they used to be, Terry. If you think you're only three cups wide, <laughs> like I told my missus when I first met her, I said, Come into my wood workshop, and I have four inch now. So, what's that? It's eight inch now, love. <laughs> you saw it's an eight inch now. <laughs> Here we are. Our, my three friends are back. My three. Killer Ruby, earworms. Ruby Clear says, "Very nice, Terry. Have a great evening, everyone." Thank you, Ruby, and Thank you. you. Have a good day. And you. Thanks, so, you thanks so much for coming in, Ruby. I appreciate it. Oh, Take funny. care, Ruby. Lovely to see you, Doctor oh. Bob. I had to get uh, long chuck key handles for mine because it has a 15-inch swing. That's the same Indeed. as this one. Well, not the same as that, but you know, that's why I had to get the long one instead of the, the, the short, short one there, Bob. See the difference? Oh, and that's oh, the long and the short of this story. Yeah, that's that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I got a long one as well. Doesn't get any better, does it? Uh, nope. It's never going to get any better. <laughs> that cup of tea was lovely. Thank I'm you, Ruth, for darling, if you're still there. You're going to have to do what, Brian? I'm going to have to revert to the Doom Bar. All oh, right. Actually, I'm going to take this. Oh, smock Joe is on the cider. <laughs> Well, I thought I better. Monk I thought says, I needed to be. Douglas Monk says that was a great live. You're such a laugh. Thank you, Douglas. <laughs> Come on, Douglas. Thank you for coming in. Actually, everybody, it was good fun. Copperberg. And I'm on again tomorrow night. Anybody wants to know? If oh, you see, remember uh, the 360 Club, oh, come and join really? us. I'm doing a demonstration on thread chasing. Oh, in fact, not just a demonstration. It. I'm showing you how to do it. That's, that's what a demonstration is, Terry. No, no demonstration. <laughs> Sometimes it show you what I do. This is showing you how to. An educational demonstration. Fred Dolliver said, "Good night." Good night. Have a good, have a good one. We'll try our best. Thank you, Fred. 
Roy the boy was drinking icebreaker today, whatever icebreaker is. I, I don't it. know what icebreaker is. Me neither. Never heard of it. Okay. Never heard of it. All it's, I have uh, is water. I thought that was a chat later. <laughs> that must be a drink. Uh, right. That must be a drink you got in the Titanic. Yeah, worked. Sunk the Titanic. See you all later. I may see you tomorrow night if you're in the 360 Club. If you're not, I won't. That's the fourth or fifth thing you've told us that. The next time? Well, no, you told me two, three times, Brian. I only said it twice. Kevin 9K says, Terry, is this a practice for the King's Lynn demo? The what? No. King's Lynn? No. Yeah. I'll probably do some. You're not, getting, you're not getting thread chasing at the King's Lynn demo. No, you're not that bloody well. No, you're not getting that. Trunks. Tony, so special, folks. Special. Um, I, I'm not sure what I'm doing at King's Lynn yet. See. <laughs> Grandma Ruth too just put in tomorrow evening tomorrow night evening off. Woohoo! Another evening <laughs> off. Actually, Ruth, you got tomorrow night I'm in here doing the IRD. Mm -hmm. And then Tuesday, guess where I am Tuesday, Ruth, darling? <laughs> I'm at my wood turning club. Mm -hmm. Guess where you are Thursday, got, Telly? Where we got Chris Parker. Guess where you'll be on Thursday, Telly? Thursday. Is it what you'll, was on Thursday? Be, You'll be here warming for me on Thursday night. Yeah, so in the yeah, I'll be in the office here warming reef or in here, we are shower. So you don't have to see me all week if you don't want to. Lovely old job. I'll see you all later, guys. Say cheerio, people. Cheerio, cheerio people. people. Cheerio, people. Cheerio, guys. Thank you so Thank much you for coming in. I really appreciate it. Just having a great laugh. Bye for now. Bye bye. bye. The button is